What's good, guys? Jason here. We're back here with another Transformers figure review. Today, we got Kingdom Wave 4, Voyager Class, Beast Wars, Tigatron. Now, if y'all followed me on Instagram, I had gotten this Tigatron here the week of Christmas. So, really, really excited to have found this. Find this at my local Target stores. But first, let's take a look here at the box, of course. Beautiful box art. You got your standard Kingdom box. Tigatron's artwork, both in Beast and Robot mode. Just beautiful artworks here. And in the back of the box, of course, shows you uh, Tigatron 23 steps to transform. So, uh, really, really cool. And of course, that beautiful poster art there. So, let's take a look here at the figure. We got it set up here in his beast mode. Um, just really cool. Uh, they're trying to go more with the authentic look of the white tiger. As you can see here, you got some really nice detailing with the stripes. You can see the white and off white colorway here on the fur. It is kind of like a, like a brown painted eye right there. You got the pink nose, you got the whiskers painted on. He actually does have some uh, articulation here in his mouth. You open up right there. You can see some of that teeth in there. Uh, probably will incorporate some paints in here down in the future uh, just to add some more cool detailing. So essentially this is pretty much uh, just another like an upscale version of the Cheetor design. It has some similar transformation designs with some tweaks. The Tigatron does come with his famous gut blaster. As you can see here, you see the intestines there. Wish Cheetor had this. Glad that Hasbro will give it to this Tigatron. And just for a quick comparison, here is Deluxe Kingdom Cheetor next to the Tigatron, both in their beast modes. Obviously, you can tell the size difference. Um, goes scales up pretty nicely. Of course, Tigatron, we know, the big cat, Cheetor the little cat. So, again, really, really nicely scaled. Really love the look of these guys here in their beast modes, no doubt. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Tigatron here transformed into his robot mode. Again, very similar to the Cheetah mode with some tweaks. So, let's go ahead and do this. All right, and here is Tigatron here transformed into his robot mode. And I got to tell you, this here is my favorite between the two modes. Tigatron looks awesome, without a doubt. Looks so, so good. Just like how he does in the CGI cartoon. That head sculpt there is money. This to me probably is second best behind Dinobot, without a doubt. Um, this has to be one of the top, top three, top four at best uh, head sculpts here in the Kingdom line. Awesome. Got the metallic mint paint application there on the face with proportions and everything's all balanced out. Take a look here at the back side. You can see uh, the legs back there. This one actually folds up like that. Tigatron's articulation here. The arms can swivel around, swivel on the biceps. You got a hinge here on the elbows, it's double hinged. You can all do the transformation. The wrist can swivel around, just drop his tail. The head can swivel. Waist can swivel around 360. Legs can go forward, split. And it can actually go back too. You got a um, swivel here on the thighs. You got a 90 degree bend at the knees. And then you got the ankle tilting here and the hinge right there. And just for a quick size comparison as well, here again next to Cheetor in robot mode. And I gotta tell you that as well, they scale up nicely, they really do. Tigatron and Cheetor, obviously, big cat, little cat. The scales up really well, just like how they did in the OG CGI cartoon. And also, too, for another visual reference, here's Tigatron along with their other cast of uh, Maximals here, the Season 1 cast, the Kingdom Line slash Thrilling 30s, of course, being the Rhinox back there. Um, they all scale up really well, guys. They look so good as a collective unit here. 
um, scales up pretty well just like how they did in the cartoon. Beautiful, beautiful figure, guys. Tigatron is the last you need here, guys, to display in your updated Beast Wars figure collection. This Tigatron's awesome without a doubt. All right, y'all, so that's going to wrap up my review of the Transformers Kingdom Way 4 Voyage Class Tigatron Beast Wars. So all I got to say is I definitely recommend getting this guy. This, to me, is probably one of my favorite, favorite Kingdom figures that dropped here uh, so far. Definitely love this figure. I'm so happy we got an updated Tigatron figure. This is so long overdue. Uh, in my opinion, second best head sculpt here behind Dinobot in this Kingdom line. So kudos to the Hasbro's Transformers design team. And of course, the Takara guys, all those designers here who take part in designing this figure. Big ups to those guys. They did a solid job with the head sculpt. Price point for this guy is $31.49 or $29.99 if you go into Target. Definitely get to this thing up, guys. Um, again, saw this in local stores. Check your stores now. It is available on Hasbro Pulse. Link in the description down below. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends and family out there. It definitely helps us out when it comes to uh, getting our no videos noticed. Really do appreciate that. And if you guys are fans of Power Rangers, Transformers, Marvel, and wrestling, if you're a fan of any or all, then be sure to subscribe to this channel today. Because that's what my channel is all about. I love them all and I got you covered. This is Jason signing out. Please, wherever you are around the world, peace and love. Take care. And we will see you in the next video.